Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Warboss Tay up in this mood. I'm gonna be showing you a quick Warboss tutorial. Warboss tutorial today on how I paint my skin for my Blood Angels. The basic skin is a very simple process, but what I do to really make it pop out is I, I add a couple extra details, which are a few extra steps, but I think it's well worth it in the end to have a good result that you're happy with. So the colors you're going to need to do all of this is, for the first part, you're going to need to do Talarn Flesh, Ogryn Flesh, and Deneb Stone. Then if you want to go and get the Deluxe, deluxe model paint job done, you're going to need the wash of Leviathan Purple and a little bit of Red Gore. Okay, so the first thing I did was I base coated the skin with Talarn Flesh. You want to thin it down so it's not too thick and then if it's too thin, you just want to go over it again. You, it's better to do multiple layers. It's always better to do multiple layers rather than one thick coat and get it done at once. Okay, and then the next step you're going to do is you're going to wash it with ogre and flesh. See you when that's done. Alright, once you've put the ogre and flesh, or once you've done the talon flesh, I'm sorry, you're going to wash it with ogre and flesh. And with this, you want to make sure that you get in all the recesses and you don't want it to be too thick because you don't want them there to be like big, thick pools of liquid, but you do want to make sure that it shades all the appropriate areas. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to highlight back up with your Talarn Flesh. And when you're done with that, you're going to add in a little bit of Deneb Stone. And you're going to paint up the edges. Anything that the light would naturally hit from an angle, like I usually go from the upper right if you're looking at him. That's where the light is going to hit, so that's where I want to paint the, the most, the starkest edge highlights. So I'm going to layer back up with Talarn Flesh and then I'm going to add a little bit of Deneb Stone to the mix. Alright, see you when that's done. Alright, so we highlighted up our skin. Now the great thing with having a wash nearby, the Ogre and Flesh wash, is because once you've highlighted you can see where you are a little bit overzealous with the Deneb Stone highlight. So, so you, all you have to do is just go back in with the Ogren Flesh and this time instead of cake covering the whole model you just want to do the creases in the face. And also you want to do, if your model has hair, you want to do the hairline with Ogren Flesh. Just the hairline, not the forehead. And anywhere where if there's biotics, like around the biotics to create the the line that separates the skin from whatever is connected to the head. So oh, as you can see I also, the great thing about having the wash is that you can see where the, the eyeballs are so I also blacked out the eyeball ahead of time. Um, before I mean bef before I painted in the rest of the eyeball so, so that's what you can do as well. So I'm gonna go back in now with my Ogre and Flesh Wash and tidy up all the edges and the lines. So this is what your model should look like at this point. Something like this. The skin should be nicely highlighted and shaded. This is a great angle. You can really see where the where the shading by his uh, headpiece, bionic earpiece whatever it is, and under his cheeks, right by his brow line. So what you do now is we are going to get onto the eyes. So use a little bit of skull white or space wolves gray to make the eyeball and then a vertical slash of chaos black to make the little pupil. 
and you want to always be sure that you put the put the pupil where you want the model to be looking. So I'm going to try to angle it so that he's looking where the sword is pointing, right in the center there. Also, if you have your model is teeth or bearing his teeth, then this is where you would paint that as well with skull white. Okay, we'll see you when that's done. And there you have it. That is how I paint my faces. For the most basic paint job, really simple, really easy. Just takes a little bit more time than slapping on you know, dwarf flesh and then doing a flesh wash, but in the end I think the results pay off. So, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go the extra step and I'm going to use Leviathan Purple right under the eyelid, the lower eyelid, to make him look like his eyes are bloodshot. So that's how I do bloodshot eyes, so just a little bit of Leviathan Purple. If you get it onto the cheek, you want to just tidy it up with your towel and flesh because we don't want it to look like he's trying to be Lady Gaga or something. I know the Blood Angels really are very mindful of their appearance, but I don't think they go to war with makeup. Okay, Leviathan Purple under the eye. See you when that's done. Alright, and the very last step we're going to do is we're going to paint or glaze, not paint, the lower lip with red gore. So a glaze is just wash down some some of the paint with a lot of water and then just lightly just spread it out over the, the lower lip. Okay, so we'll see you when that's done. Again, that's red gore on the lower lip. Alright, I know what you're saying, War Boss Tay. Why did you just have me put lipstick on my Space Marine? Well, don't worry because the second part of that step is to take some Talarn Flesh and all you're going to do is run a really thin line over the middle. The red is actually going to act as the outlining definition of the lip, but in order to make it look like he's not wearing lipstick, we're just going to put a, a really thin line of Talarn Flesh across the middle of that lower lip, which is what we're going to do now. Kiss me, I love you. So as you can see, we covered up the lipstick, but we still have that faint red-ish line around the lower lip, which is just what we want. And there you have it. This is the Deluxe Warboss Tay skin painting, or face painting, how to paint a face, Warboss Tay Toriel. I hope you liked it. I'm going to paint up the rest of these Death Company guys and we'll see you in the next video.